Are you ready to witness the breathtaking beauty of the universe? Look no further than the stunning nebula and gas clouds that grace our skies. These awe-inspiring structures are formed from the remnants of dying stars and other cosmic events, creating vibrant and colorful displays that are unlike anything on Earth. Join us on a journey through the cosmos as we explore the incredible beauty of nebula and gas clouds in this must-see video. What is a nebula? The word nebula is derived from the Latin word for clouds. Indeed, a nebula is a cosmic cloud of gas and dust floating in space. More than one nebula is called nebula. Nebulae are the basic building blocks of the universe. They contain the elements from which stars and solar systems are built. They are also among the most beautiful objects in the universe, glowing with rich colors and swirls of light. Stars inside these clouds of gas cause them to glow with beautiful reds, blues, and greens. These colors are the result of different elements within the nebula. Most nebulae are composed of about 90% hydrogen, 10% helium, and 0.1% heavy elements such as carbon, nitrogen, magnesium, potassium, calcium, and iron. These clouds of matter are also quite large. They are among the largest objects in the galaxy. Many of them are dozens or even hundreds of light years across. Nebulae have been divided into five major categories. These are emission nebulae, reflection nebulae, dark nebulae, planetary nebulae, and supernova remnants. Emission and reflection nebulae tend to be fuzzy in appearance and lack any noticeable shape or structure. They are also known as diffuse nebulae. How nebulae are formed How a nebula forms will dictate what kind of nebula it is. There are a few main ways that nebulae are born. The most common would be the explosion of a supernova. A supernova is the last stage in a star's death. It can also occur when a white dwarf, a very powerful dense star, is going through uncontrolled nuclear fusion. The original star or stellar object collapses into a black hole or a neutron star, the gas and debris left from the new nebula. The Crab Nebula is a good example of this. Another way a nebula is formed is when a gas giant starts losing gas and mass because it is near the end of its cycle. As more particles are released, they form gas and dust clouds, which turn into planetary nebulae. When the sun in our solar system dies, it will most likely form a planetary nebula. When new stars are formed, great amounts of stellar material collapse in on itself due to gravity. The leftover gas and dust get irradiated and form a nebula. Stellar nurseries are another name for nebula for this reason. There are different origins for different nebulae, but the result is the same gas and dust lit with energy, ions, and radiation. What are the types of nebulae? The four main types of nebulae are Emission nebula slash star-forming region Also known as stellar nurseries, these massive collections of hydrogen gas are pulled together by gravity to form incredible formations like the pillars of creation found within the Eagle Nebula. In these star-forming regions, the formations of gas, dust, and other materials cluster together to form denser regions. The density attracts matter and eventually becomes dense enough to create the formation of stars. The remaining material is then believed to form planets and other planetary system objects. Early astronomers observed planetary these round, nebula. compact nebula in the night sky. They thought that they must be planets. In reality, planetary nebula have nothing to do with planets. Planetary nebulae are formed when a star dies and create dramatic formations of radiating cosmic gas. Some great examples of planetary nebula in the night sky include the Ring Nebula, the Dumbbell Nebula, and the Helix Nebula. Supernova Remnant A supernova remnant is a cosmic explosion that has spread the materials from a star across a huge expanse of space. The remnants of this explosion have formed into a nebula, and this nebula type creates some of the most incredible formations in space. Some nebulae are formed as the result of supernova explosions and are hence classified as supernova remnant nebulae. In this case, short-lived stars experience implosion in their cores, 
and blow off their external layers. Dark Nebula A dark nebula is a cloud of gas and dust that is revealed due to the bright areas of interstellar material and stars behind it. The nebula is silhouetted against a bright background to create interesting shapes and formations. There are also what is known as dark nebulae, opaque clouds that do not emit visible radiation and are not illuminated by stars, but block light from luminous objects behind them. Much like emission and reflection nebulae, dark nebulae are sources of infrared emissions, chiefly due to the presence of dust within them. The most beautiful nebulae. The Helix Nebula, a planetary nebula, is an exceptional visual display to behold. We can see it here in all its striking prestige, although to the naked eye, it would look rather different. Complex telescopic instruments and sophisticated image processing must be used to capture such detail, allowing us to discern the true extent of such a cosmic event. At the center of the nebula remains the location of a stellar remnant core, fated to become a white dwarf star that would have been a star much like our own before succumbing to the end of its stellar evolution. The luminous purple core at the center shows intense ultraviolet radiation being spewed out from the dying star, illuminating the expanding material for us to see. The Beauty of the Gas Clouds Gas clouds in space are indeed stunningly beautiful. These clouds are made up of various gases, such as hydrogen, helium, and dust particles, and can span hundreds of light years across. They are typically found in regions where stars are forming, as well as in the remnants of supernova. One of the most famous gas clouds is the Orion Nebula, located in the constellation of Orion. This cloud is visible to the naked eye and is a popular target for astronomers and astrophotographers alike. It is a massive cloud of gas and dust, illuminated by the light of nearby stars, and is a hopped of star formation. Another spectacular gas cloud is the Carina Nebula, located in the Southern Hemisphere. This cloud is home to a massive star, Eta Carinae, which is one of the brightest stars in our galaxy. The cloud is also filled with stunning formations, such as pillars of gas and dust, and is a popular target for astronomers. Gas clouds can also be seen in the form of planetary nebulae, which are the remnants of dying stars. These clouds are often spherical and are illuminated by the dying star at their center. The Helix Nebula is a well-known example of a planetary nebula and is located in the constellation of Aquarius. In conclusion, the stunning beauty of nebula and gas clouds is a testament to the incredible diversity and complexity of the universe. These celestial objects are not only breathtakingly beautiful, but they also play a crucial role in the formation of stars and planets. The latest advancements in observational techniques have allowed us to capture these objects in unprecedented detail and reveal their intricate structures and properties. Also, if you enjoyed the video, kindly share this video with your friends and family and subscribe.